Alright, set up some more brutals. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Top seat. The Dark Lord, man. Uh, Ask Daka, did you watch Chopper yet? I'm wondering if the vernacular is infectious to people overseas. I did watch it. Um, it was on, uh, I looked it up to see, actually, I, when we went to the library, I take, like, the boys there every so often, like, get games and check out books and whatever. Um, there's all sorts of cool shit you can do there. Uh, sounded like a really big nerd, right? <laughs> As I said that, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do to a library. Um, but, like, straight up, they have, like, metal detectors and stuff. It's wild. Uh, it's a new world. Um, so I went there to look for it, and they did not have it. Or, you know, it was checked out or whatever. So I was like, alright, well, what... Um... My god. This is fucking nuts. Uh, so I just went on Amazon. It was like three ninety nine. I was like, yeah, sure. Um, I did see it. It reminds me very much of, um... Sorry. Uh, Sir Dodge a lot here. Uh, is it Charles Bronson? The notorious UK guy? Who's like the most dangerous prisoner? And what was it? Fucking right into it, dude. What are you doing? Um, so I did watch it. And uh, it is a really good movie. There is a... Uh, I think they did a good job of... Um, portraying him as like someone who is... Um, Man, this is, like, not a good one to talk on, huh? It's just, like, constant, like, those. Fucking always. I had to keep moving because, like, there were things shooting at me still. Um, they did a good job of portraying uh, him as, like, a, a likable... Like, he's got parts of him that you like. Um, uh, but he, they... Let me get you, dude. Yeah, talk about, like, a lot of overload for a base to... That's okay. You know what it feels like? It feels like um, hot hot ones. Uh, this is like our, um, like, Walmart hot <laughs> ones. <laughs> you put me in challenging maps and ask me questions. Um, that's actually really funny. Uh, they did a good job of portraying him as having some traits that you like, um, but also, like, He's, like, a deeply fucked up and, like, damaged person. Like, you know, and, and they kind of, I think, allude to that with the dad being kind of, like, encouraging of his, like, I don't know, like, aggression, right? Because, like, at one point, well, I don't I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Hopefully, if you don't want to um, hear about Chopper, the Australian, like, most dangerous prisoner, um... Just skip this episode. You're not missing anything. I'm not going to do anything funny at all. And I won't win. Fuck! Okay, don't go down there yet. Uh, now go down. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Go ahead and skip. And then... Uh, for everyone else... There we go. Okay, I gotta focus a little bit. You know, him... Him being kind of loyal, but also, you know, he doesn't know how to, like, form relationships because he's a fucking broken person. And, uh, you know, like, so now that all the people have left that are clearly don't want to hear any more about the movie. Um, you know, his dad, like, asking him about the, the guy killed in the parking lot. And, uh, you know, when it's kind of alluded to that um he did it or at least he thinks his son did it he's kind of proud of him and you're like dude what you know what the fuck is wrong with you and even he kind of knows it because when he's sitting next to him uh in the kitchen um you know he's he knows and, and he doesn't really want to sit with him he doesn't want to hang with him like even when he's like he's trying to dodge him by coming in late and then his dad's like staying up late to you know talk to him that he's like man this is the last fucking place I want to be. It's the last thing I want to do with the last person I want to do it with. And you're like, okay, well, that's, you know, that's kind of your, well, we kind of know why he's fucked up, right? Because, like, if he never learned how to act or that's who he learned it from, of course he's going to be kind of fucked up. And, you know, depending on your other variables, like people fucking with you or 
where you grew up or how affluent you are. I mean, those all play factors. And yeah, it's, you know, some people just snap easier and some people, you know, you accidentally sharpen them into wolves and then you're fucked. <laughs> you know, if you fuck with them too much, they just learn like some kind of sometimes like inner strength and then they just like, you know, get so ambitious you can't compete. Um, I'm sorry. Let's get into this. So, okay, so this is probably, yes, all right, I, yeah, this is a, a difficult base to talk about that with, but, um, but yeah, he, you know, his, uh, so some of them are that he's, he is likable and that he kind of seems like he's joking, but like the first time he like turns on you, you're like, yeah, this is all an act or he doesn't really understand what it is to joke with friends. He's, he's fucked up. Um, but also his, uh, I would say his will, you know, his willpower. Um, the dude, you know, you, you have to have some if you're going to survive. Oh, wow. You weave through the fucking buildings, dude. How cool is that? You go through, you go through that, obviously, eventually. Um, yeah, this is fucking amazing. Um, even that light right here. You know, and, and, uh, he just, his concept of love and, and like intimacy and all that shit is like completely askew. Like even now he's like his girls, like, like a... You know, she prostitutes herself, and he's, like, only got a problem with it if, like, she's kissing somebody because that's more personal to him. Which I actually understand to a certain degree. But, um, you know, like, he does all of his examples of... What the hell? Is this all going to be lasers? Which, I mean, would be kind of fucking cool. Let's hope that happens. Um, how the hell do I get out of here? Does Harvey even go this way? Shit. No. No is something else um but you know when people fail him he kind of counts on himself and uh you know him cutting off his ears to get out kind of putting the loony bin i'm assuming do we go no i went up all right sorry i apologize it's probably yeah um you know that's will and and, and he does what he needs to do to survive but he's also like they did a good job of making him like, sometimes, you know, like, uh, in a way, they, they, what's the word? Idolize, I guess. You know, like, some of these guys, probably because they're, you know, like, the Jeffrey Dahmers and the Ted Bundys sometimes. Like, those, there'd be, like, gabs of, like, people sending him letters and stuff. Like, you know, wanting to marry him. And I don't know if that's, like, some weird, you know, effed up. Um... But people are attracted to that. It's probably the, you know, the the tension, the primal shit that we all kind of feel here and there. You know, like all of us get, you know, I'm I'm in a like good spot, but like every so often in a map, I'll find myself like starting to get competitive, and I'm like, all right, dude, you know, not a not a great look on you. This is just a shit harp. Um, you know, so it appeals to that because we all, you know, not that we're murderers, but I think everyone's gotten to a point where they've like, for most people, have gotten angry enough that, shit, 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 shit. That's a, oh, this is a problem, guys. I am fudged. Holy crap, man. Ha 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 ha. Um, well, that was fucking cool, dude. That is a beautiful goddamn base. Um, yeah, it's just, they did a really good job at that. I know you were asking if, if some of the things he said, I would say no, probably not. A lot of those things, like, like there's so much slang and like shit that's created daily here in America. Like, you just have to infer with context a lot of the time. Like, you know, there's some older people. I guess, I suppose, sometimes you hear the like word boomer. Um, but where they, they can't really read the context because they didn't use... Or maybe they just aren't familiar with the new stuff. I don't know. But 
some things you can just figure out, even though you've like only heard it for the first time, you know, uh, based on context. And uh, so there isn't a whole lot of those. Wicked minion. Oh, even Juddo's got a nemesis now. I'll go. I'll go hit him up for you. Um. So I. But also. Australians in general, with I think the demeanor that they're either they're at least portrayed um, on TV, which is of course always accurate. Um, it always seems like their humor is uh, a little closer to mine, where it's like, um, like for a long time um, when people would come into town and we meet them, we'd always like make up stories about. Oh, you know what? I realize I can't tell the story without giving away where I live. Well, all right. We'll, we'll skip that one. Um, can I, 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 I think it seems like many Australians are born with uh, not a whole lot of... Um, I, I don't want to say, like, seriousness. That's the wrong word. Like, they're, they're just, like, easygoing and, like... You know, everything's kind of funny, even like kind of fucked up situations. And uh, I think I that resonates with me. Uh, so I think, you know, in in the media I've consumed of Australians, I always am like kind of excited because they're just kind of like they're it's a weird combo of like, uh, you know, always joking. Things aren't taken too seriously um, and everyone's kind of in on the joke, you know, a little bit. And so it's really not offensive. We're in some, you know, maybe other double fire. That is unexpected. Well done. But, you know, no matter however you gen like generalize someone, it's you shouldn't, even if it's a good. So, uh, you know, of course, there's there's every type of person and every type of race. You know? um, and you can't just be like, oh, well, you know, <laughs> yeah, all the Australians are like really funny and just laid back. Of course, you know, because that's just, you know, that's not true. And every, you know, every uh, background and ethnicity is is that, you know, somewhere. Um, but I think you guys also have really funny words uh, that don't die, please. Um, like, and I most of I don't I don't know any of them off the top, but there are there's like a comedian, I think Steve Hofstetter, who works with an Australian comedian and they're doing like a bit and uh, he's got to guess what the Australian, you know, terminology is. I mean, that was just pushing my luck at that point for sure. I did get stuff cleared. Actually, that's not too bad. Shit, flames? Oh, above, above. You gotta remember the above part. Okay, so clear those. What's dangerous on me? Nothing at the moment. Oh, and I got one laser above. Easily handled, and then I think you're safe. Not, you, sh you should have taken more time to read the room. That was, uh, that's my mistake there for sure. Um, all right, let's get can't pull me in. Oh, yeah, I can pull me into that. Where are all my bolts going? Am I losing them? What the fuck? Oh, I've just been using one bolt over and over. Is that what's been happening? Oh, man, that's a, a bummer. Good room. A fun, high-stress room. You know, like, it it's not as dangerous once you kind of see everything, but in the moment, it's its a lot to assess. Um, so it's pretty cool in that regard. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but I don't know. So, in answer to your question in a very long-winded way... Um, I think it's probably it'd probably get drowned out in the amount of slang and things you know we say here, but I think it would be well received, if that makes sense. Like if you threw it out there and it became a th it, it it might become a thing, just because it's like funny. 
Uh, that was artistic, I'd say. Oh, it was ingenious. I got you. And it was brutal. You gave it a fun and artistic. You dummy. Almost there. It's funny as you guys are going to see me hit masters before. <laughs> oh, man. These videos are going to be all out of order. It's okay. Maybe I'll record another um, uh, angry salt mine. See who's been in there. That'd be cool. Toxic melon. I think that's a penis. Perhaps. Just to get me in. <laughs> just throw a penis on it. They'll come into my kill box. Oh, I might have to. Uh, these are looking pretty cool. Oh, Florida man. He's got another one up. Muadib. Dude, lover. <laughs> Which would also be a really funny, funny name. Uh, this No, I'm not falling for these walls anymore. You don't throw anything behind them. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do this one, I do believe. Oh, that's funny. Sorry, I got way off topic. Um, I know you were just like, hey, do you think any of those would stick? And I like started talking about the movie, but um, it was a cool movie. And I don't think you would have like been like, hey, check it out if you didn't think it was cool and you didn't want me to see it. So, um, it, it, it's a, yeah, it's kind of a, he's a sad dude. You know, he's deeply insecure too, but like, he's a tough, he's a tough asshole. You know, he's, um, I'm, you know, everything's exaggerated to a degree, but I also think like, you know, it's possible he was stabbed as many times as he was in that single inter interaction, but you know, it is wild that managed to miss some vital parts and whatever. And that blade looked pretty long. You know, it wasn't like an inch knife where you're not necessarily hitting vitals. Um, but, yeah, just a weird, like, sad movie, but, like, mixed in with, like, an entertaining character. So, like, it was a good movie. You know, no one's necessarily looking for, like, oh, well, this is sad as fuck. Oh, yeah, you see that bounce? It's cool. Anyways, started blasting. Brought my demo equipment. Enjoy. Demo and all you fools. Sniped. Instant karma. Crazy ass room, dude. Is this the big penis on the front door one? And his name's Toxic Melon. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. That all, that all adds up. You just ever want to show someone like the utmost disrespect? Shoot their guy's pants off. I hate it. His pants are expensive out here. They cost scrap. Ah, there's the flame. Okay, so you kind of like staggered it, maybe? one of those you can like zip right through and like be fine 
You can kind of, oh my god, it might be. Spicy, huh? Less spicy. <laughs> totally. It's like one of those you can like... I, I can't, but I don't know the layout, so I can't. What is that, unrelenting? Oh shit, that's a problem. That was so dumb of me. Why did I do that, dude? It's like, messed up. Um, overall though, good movie. Liked it. Give that one a uh, eight out of ten. I was not bored at any point. Um, good job with that character, kind of making him kind of the complex person he was. You you could feel like some things were embellished, like as far as the story. But um, they also did a good job of not uh, romanticizing him. That's what I was looking for earlier. That word, because um, he is. He's just like a fucked up kind of sad dude. So like a strong kid in a grown man's body. And uh, that kind of sucks because that kid is like in a very hostile environment and never fucking learned to like live in any kind of capacity that's probably worth living because the way he does is like, you know, everything is fear, respect. Like that's just exhausting a and defending, you know, to do constantly. You should always do it, but like you should never be in a situation where like every day you wake up you know, every second you're around people is like, if I fuck up or like show weakness, I'm, you know, something's gonna come in, just take advantage of it, whatever capacity it is. Pretty cool. I liked it. Missed the tombs, but that's okay. Toxic Melon. And this, and this is great. <laughs> Let's do artistic for that. Boom. 